let us share prayers of the people. Gracious and merciful God, we ask for prayers for Juliet as she prepares for her professional nurse examinations, for the healing and recovery of Charles Tinsley, who is hospitalized with double pneumonia and congestive heart disease, for those who are coming to events at the church and working at the church, and for those who hesitate to do so because of the pandemic, for Dar's good friend Val Inouye, who passed after a courageous battle of cancer just short of her 63rd birthday, and for her husband, John Nise, and for her parents and siblings who could not come to see her because of the pandemic. For Rebecca Rabin, who is applying for a job promotion since the job she is, is, be, is being eliminated. For Harry's good friend, Karina Lee Howe, as she faces future, the future with breast cancer. For Mrs. Pajar, the mother of Harry Chuck's sister-in-law, Eunice. Mrs. Pajar was a former school principal in the Philippines. For Harry's good friend, Steve Kwan, known and loved by many who benefited from his mastery of ukulele, and for his service as a former member of Harry's youth group in Cameron House. For Harry's half-brother, Richard Fong, and prayers for his wife, Marie, who suffers from advanced Alzheimer. For Elvie's friend, Stan Stewart, who is recovering from heart surgery. For Elvie's friend, Lynn Zabernick, who has kidney removed due to cancer and prayers for his wife, Margaret. For David Keyes, who is struggling with brain cancer and his wife, Kim Rankin, who, has, who was our guest musician a few weeks ago, who's jugg juggling, caretaking, teaching with their 13-year-old son, Will. For Jennifer Lee's uncle, Lloyd Chu, who at 90 years old is sick and struggling with prayers and prayers for his family. For Lou and Debbie Chin, who are now in Germany, who for specialized cancer treatment for Lou, and prayers for successful treatment given by their compassionate doctor. For the family and friends of Edane Leon, including her husband Victor and her brother Dayton. Dayton and his wife continues to be active at Cameron House and worship at Covenant Church. For the people of this country, as we approach election of our leaders, for peace and safety during the days before and after the election. For everyone on the COVID-19 front line, the doctors, nurses, hospital staff, police officers, firefighters, social workers, who are pulling their, putting their lives on the line. And for everyone impacted by COVID-19, those who are sick, those who have loved ones and who are ill. For gratitude for the life of David Fong shared with us, David, who recently passed away, was a friend of Covenant Church and a friend of many who grew up in Chinatown and Presbyterian, uh, Presbyterian Church in Cameron House. For Mabel's husband, Charles, for a continual successful and safe recovery from eye surgery, glaucoma, may his sight become clear again for Genevieve as she continues to recover from surgery at home. Let us pray.